Hi everybody, today I'm driving over to Clare Country Park, uh, which is next to the River Stour, which uh, is a very beautiful location, I must say. Next to Clare Castle, although what's left of that is just a tower. But the real source of my visit is actually Clare Priory. It has been a priory before the dissolution of the priories in the reign of King Henry VIII, and I believe it was restored to a priory in the 1950s. It is an absolutely wonderful location. The monks there are very hospitable. Um, they allow people to visit their church to prayer. I go there to meditate because um, although I'm not a religious person per se, I, I don't subscribe to any form of mainstream religion. I do believe in the power of prayer and meditation. And when you actually go inside that wonderful building, you can actually feel the energies that permeate throughout the entire structure. It really is a wonderful experience. I'm also taking with me my camcorder. My van's just gone past. And I'm hoping to be able to capture some kind of activity and give you a view of what is actually inside that particular chapel. It's well worth the visit if you get the opportunity. Clare exists just on the Essex-Suffolk border. Uh, it's easy to access from major roads. Clare Village itself is well worth a visit if you get the opportunity. I think the real gem is certainly, without doubt, the ancient priory, and this is a journey that I want to share with you today. Having arrived safely in a car park inside Clare Country Park, I made my way on foot through a wooded glade and across a narrow footbridge which crossed the river, and this led to an almost concealed ancient gateway and into the grounds of the priory. Passing the final resting place of some Augustinian priests, I followed a gravel path inside the beautiful and serene grounds of the Priory and heading towards the Order's ancient church in the far distance. Passing by a tranquil bubbling fountain set with a medieval stone font, I immediately feel a warm yet powerful energy as I enter into the church. This force around me is compassionate and calm, and is the residual energy of prayer and devotion, passed through the centuries and still resonating to the devotion of the Augustinian order that still worship here to this day. Although much changed over the years, the earlier incumbent priests still remain, despite centuries of neglect and decay, following the dissolution of their order in 1538. I sat quietly as I opened up to these spectral presences around me, and recorded my thoughts and impressions to camera. Right now I can feel the uh, presence of a, a monk, a man who's linked. 50s, early 60s, balding, white coloured hair, fringed around the sides, round faced with a very, very white beard, flecked with grey, about five foot six tall, not overweight, just medium build. I can feel his presence in here. I think his name is Father Ignatius. It's quite a strong feeling. It was at this point that the camcorder recorded what sounded to be a voice of a man with a Yorkshire accent. There's so many energies around in this wonderful building. so quiet and so beautiful and here I really do feel I can contemplate and meditate and tune in to that energy which I think permeates through everybody if only they could recognize that themselves. 
on a strange feeling. This priest is uh, around me at the moment. Quite friendly, nothing threatening about him at all. I just wondered if anybody here, any person in spirit, would like to say something. He's too pleased about me filming. I mean no disrespect. Clearly from listening to these EVP voices, there were two male spirits active around me. One I felt most certainly was the spirit I identified as Father Ignatius but the other had shielded itself from me, and I was quietly amused at being called an Israeli, which may have had a partial element of truth, as my great-grandmother originated from Jewish stock. But equally, my ancestors on my father's side were Protestant priests, so who knows? <laughs>